fresh rice. What do you know? I love fresh rice. Big ol' heap and scoop. Look at the steam. It's cooked perfectly. Oh, look at that. It's so perfect. And then since you got hot rice, I'm not even gonna warm up the fish. Looks like you've been playing golf with that tan line you have on your hand. <laughs> really? It's a farmer's tan. A little bit lower protein now. A lot more carbs. When I say a lot more, it's not like triple the carbs. It's like probably maybe double the carbs. The fats are going to go up too like they've been going up yesterday but they'll probably go up tomorrow and then the carbs we'll just see where my body's at like i said before we just at this point we just take everything meal by meal hour by hour because my body is really changing that fast so <laughs> justin's got more food prepared just in case we need some yams the thing is, when it comes to peak week, the last few days, you just need to have an abundance of everything. Like have all your proteins prepared, all your carbs prepared, have everything you need in the cabinet. That way that if something changes really quick at the end, like you're about to eat a meal and then your coach says, nope, have this instead. It's just best to have everything ready to go. I know it sucks. It costs a lot of money. I mean, you're going to be spending hundreds of dollars on food, you know, but um, makes it easier if like if you do a meal prep service like Mega Fit Meals, if you do want to cook your own food because you, you, you don't want to trust another company or you don't want to pay for the meals, then um, do that. But you're going to be cooking a lot of food and just keeping keeping it prepared is so important it's more important to be prepared the day before the show like a couple the week the week before the show a couple days before than it is all season long so just keep that in mind it's preheated like two minutes I was falling asleep during the edit last night because Olivia was talking to me because she like stayed up and she was talking with me and then I woke up and she's like, Trevor, Trevor. I was like, oh. Hey man, but you're getting out these videos. You're doing a great job, man. Hey, we all appreciate you, bro. Yeah, I survived. You know how hard it is to find ground beef during the summer? Like, it's insane. Thank you. I love my potatoes. These are the just in case potatoes. Yep, I'm gonna make just in case potatoes. Fresh. And we just feel your presence in it. And we say thank you, Lord. We praise you. We love you. this on my clothes. A little cologne? Yeah. Ooh, that smells good. Love you, babe. Love you. It's 
pray for me while I'm up there that all of you, if you will, just that I, I let God speak through me and I have the right words to say. I will say, I mean, this is the first year that I, I feel pretty calm about everything. Well, I was pretty calm last year too, but even more so this year. Just like everything, like whether it be the athlete check-in, whether it be the press conference, or like anything, you know? Yeah. Now, I'm not so like worked up. I'm not like on this like adrenaline rush. I'll be honest, I'm I'm still like the biggest fan of bodybuilding and getting to do this is super cool. So like if I wanted to think about it, I probably would get all worked up uh, pretty easily <laughs> how exciting it is to be a part of this. But Try to stay as mellow as possible since I'm the one actually competing. <laughs> stay grounded. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Love you too. Is it just you? Steve wants to go get our credentials. Oh, I love you so much. I miss you. It's been so long since I've seen you. I'm literally going to cry right now. I haven't seen my mom forever. It's been months since I saw my mom. Just pray for me. I give today. God gives me the right words to say. Thank you, man. Come on. You look the same, man. You got to Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Once in a while, I started. I bought everything. I can't wait a while in there. Yeah. Golden's greatest tradition has returned to Orlando. Our next competitor. May his Miss Olympia debut in sensational fashion last year. Placing second, only one year after winning the 212 Olympia title, he is a former Mr. USA. Please welcome from the United States, Darren Watson. My question's for uh, John, keep it short. Yeah. Shorts, shorts. Shirts behind me, two point shot. Derek, uh, you won USA's, uh, you won the 212, and you went and guest post for Jim Mannion, and everybody saw you coming at that, at that stage. We saw you in the off season, bigger, bulkier, chunkier, and everyone, especially me, was telling you to go in the Open Olympia, and you went in there, and you came this close to, to knocking off Big Hottie. What have you done differently to try to get that title, because you're so close? Well, I got the feedback from last year on why I, took second place because there were first place votes. It was very, very close, you know, by a coin toss, it would, could have went either way. Um, but, you know, he had the victory last year. I took the feedback and the critiques on what I needed to do to my physique. And I just went back to the drawing board and I went back to the gym and I, I trained hard all year. I worked with my coach, Hani Grandpa. This is our third year working together. And he and I, our relationship in terms of coach athlete and also our personal relationship has grown tremendously so we understand each other better he understands me and he you know he knows my body now much better and I execute the plan so but at the end of the day you have to have passion and love for this you gotta want to be in the gym you gotta you gotta love this so I live it every single day and I just want to be the best absolute best version of myself so regardless of who I'm standing next to I'm only focused on me and the opportunity that I have to compete on this stage is a window of time in my life, and I want to make the absolute most of it, so. Now, Derek, you were talking about something earlier. You know, I, I respect how you carry yourself, but at some point in time, I really feel like you have to go to a dark place, use that fuel, let people know who the hell you are. Are you willing to do that on this stage because I can speak clearly about this in front of all these people here. When I used to win this show, Jim May and Steve Weinberger, all these guys, they call these shots. The people that have won, they had to earn it, they had to take it. It ain't always nice. Sugar Shane Mosley was nice. Floyd Mayweather was ruthless. 
you got to be almost, I'm just going to say it, excuse my language, you almost got to be a fucking asshole at some point in time. Because you're forgetting someone for being immortalized in history, to having their name on that, to having $400,000 on that, that goes to your family and your legacy and all that good stuff. So it ain't always going to be nice. So my question is, are you willing to not have to be nice while you are competing to, if that is required. It doesn't mean that, you know what I'm saying, like you gotta go out there and push people and do all this other stuff, but if it has to go there where a champion really needs to remind people, are you willing to do that? And what does that even feel like for you? Very well said, Phil. Let me say this. You don't have to be nice, but we will be fair. And Steve Weinberger and Tyler Mannion and Sandy Williamson, they'll give these athletes every opportunity that they can to showcase their physiques, to be compared fairly, not like the world right now, which has gone crazy with people picking sides and all this political climate. Bodybuilding has never had any of that. They're looking at physiques on stage. They don't care what kind of following you got. They don't care where you're from. We've had champions from overseas. We've had champions from right here in our own backyard. These judges will put these athletes through the paces and they will have to earn the title of Olympia champion. Bro, what's up, dude? How are you? I missed you, man. How you been? Man, you put on some muscle. Have you been training? You have... No? With the nice gym that you guys have? Ah, uh, he's trying to plug. Look at this. His dad taught him well. He said, I eat mega fit meals. Nope. Where is your dad? Eat mega fit so you don't get mega fat. I was really ready to answer Phil's last question about going to a dark place and being like an a-hole. Yeah. Because I was going to say like, well, everybody draws motivation from a different place. And I learned to draw my motivation from a positive place to honor and glorify my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I'm not really willing to waver from who I am for anything. So if that's what you're asking, no, I wouldn't do it for anything. But I do believe that I can draw the motivation that I need from a positive place to be the champion and the right type of champion. This is what we did one year at the Orleans Arena. We actually came out like this with everybody sitting here, walked up the aisle, it was sick. Oh, that's cool. For the press conference. No problem at all, I love your YouTube videos. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. You want to be on it? Yeah. <laughs>
that's a lot of fun. No, seriously, your face is incredible. Thank the way you, you talk about it in all your videos, man. Yeah, incredible. I just pray every day. I say, God, I want to be nothing more than a vessel for you. And you know how hard that is being a human being in the flesh, living in this world? So I'm like, God, I, I try to check myself all the time. God, I just want to be nothing more than a vessel for you. I want to honor and glorify you. Make sure to like and subscribe. Whoa, there we go. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, getting our second coat of tan before we went to the Meet the Olympians. I rinsed off, so that way I'm ready, fresh. My skin's fresh and ready to get this second coat, I'm trying to get as dark as possible. Um, yeah, round two for the coat of tan, and then we'll we'll sleep on it tonight and wake up tomorrow should set in really really nicely and then go get uh tomorrow we, it's pre-judging so i'm gonna get my hair cut in the morning get a tan and then get another tan right before the right before i step on stage so here we go Hey man, what's up? This is the biggest boot boot here. Hi man, it's been a good treat, bro. Alright, let's follow you. Oh, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Real quick, please. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Really, you can pack your room, man. I'm gonna pick you next up. Good luck, hey man. Go to it. Walk at the same time. Next Mr. I love it. New champ. Rude boy. He really is. That's you know? awesome. And man. as a dad, man, I, I love to see him going to the gym, setting yeah. me at home. Something you know, positive, bro. There's time for video he's, games. He's working on himself, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's good, dude. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and put God first, bro. Yeah, yeah that's I the was biggest saying, God's first. Uh, it's great that you use this to like share your testimony and that's stuff. Right, I yeah. got your, I got the shirt with the oh, the ducks. ducks. Yeah, 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 I love it, dude. He's yeah. like, oh, yeah. man, I didn't have my belt. Yeah, uh, I have a lifting belt with all the signatures yeah. that I did get here. Well, if you come to the Sunday seminar, I'll be there regardless yeah, whether I yeah, win or not. Yeah, no. yeah. So, I'll yeah. Get win. I, I'll get yeah. you yeah. No, man, but got awesome. this. This one's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the picture. Okay. Okay. Got to get the photo. Yeah, back. one, two, three. Here we go. Few. Awesome, man. God Thank you so you. much. Yeah, yeah, God bless. Keep, keep at it, keep brother. It. All right, no tan on the seats, guys. <laughs> no tan on the seats. What's up, bro? Great to see you. Just don't get tan on my seat, please. <laughs> Take care of that seat. Yeah. If I find any tan on these seats, we know who's somebody's is. gonna be getting it. All right. Get it with a prize? No, I'm gonna have uh, Trevor wipe it off. Is what I meant. He's gonna get it. <laughs> All right. So that's it for one day out. That means one more sleep, and then the next time you guys will see me, I will be on the pre-judging stage. So stay tuned though, because the next video that drops is going to be Sunday after the Olympia, and we are gonna show you all the behind the scenes, exclusive content tomorrow and the next day. So don't go anywhere, subscribe to the channel, but I will see you guys at pre-judging.